uh, head coach from Saudi Arabia, uh, coach LV Renard, welcome coach, and player Abdullah Hamdan. First of all, uh, coach LV uh, comment about the game and preparation Saudi Arabia tomorrow match. Okay, coach. Good uh, afternoon. I can see uh, in Indonesia you are very passionate about football. So congratulations. I thought the game was today, but now it's tomorrow. First of all, uh, this is the first game for the re all the return game. So remaining five games for each team. At the moment, the table is very tight, except uh, for Japan, uh, because they are from far on, on top of this group. So the qualification for the World Cup uh, will be difficult for everybody. So tomorrow, it, it will be a tough game again. So the, the team, uh, and the staff, uh, all the, the people from Saudi Arabia, we, we need to be ready for this uh, very important game. Assalamu alaikum. 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 على ملعب صعب طموحنا عالي رغبتنا في الفوز كبيرة ندرك مدى أهمية هذه المباراة أرجع وأقول المباراة تكون صعبة بس بإذن الله بنقدم اللي يشفع لنا نطلع المباراة بالثلاثة نقاط إن شاء الله Check check. Hello coach Hafner. I'm Ixan from Compass Daily Indonesia. Uh, I have uh, one question for the coach and one question also for uh, Abdullah Hamdan as a player. For the coach first, uh, uh, after the Indonesian uh, against Saudi uh, in the first match, uh, the former Saudi coach, uh, Roberto Mancini, uh, complained about uh, lack of uh, the minutes play for, uh, from the Saudi players in the Saudi league. So you uh, come again in Saudi uh, for this uh, second period. Do you think uh, the new era of the Saudi league uh, become disadvantage for you to preparation for your team, especially for this uh, qualifier for the World Cup 2026? And the second, for the players, uh, as you know that uh, many expectations uh, when uh, Salem al uh get injured and you have to uh, also play with uh, Salem in the Al-Hila. So do you think uh, the absence of the Salem uh, give the pressure for you and for the other forwards uh, to score the goals uh, for Saudi uh, tomorrow games? Thank you. I spent uh, three years and a half with uh, the Saudi team for the first time. I left in uh, March 2023, it's not far. And uh, even when I was in France, I continue to, to watch uh, the Saudi League because the league uh, is beginning uh, stronger and stronger. And of course, I was so happy to see the player I was in charge every week. So it was very interesting for me. So it was not difficult for me to come back and to make uh, the list. Now, the player knows me very well. I know the players very well. Uh, we know what we have to do to be qualified for the next World Cup 2026. It's a new story. And this uh, new story, uh, we are, uh, will have a, a very important game tomorrow evening. Uh. أول شيء غياب الكابتن سالم والكل يعرف قيمة سالم لاعب مهم لكن اللي يعرف أيضا أنه عندنا غيابات ثانية 
اعتقد ان الموجودين كلهم الجميع يبغى يثبت داخل ارضيه الملعب امكانياته ويوضحها للجميع زي ما انت قلت الغياب مهم ولكن البديل دائما بيكون حاضر موجود لخدمه المنتخب في اي وقت موضوع التسجيل وهل هو بيسبب ضغط علينا؟ لا ما اتوقع يعني يعني كل اللاعبين الموجودين اتوقع عندهم الخبره الكافيه وتعودوا على هذه الاشياء موضوع التسجيل هذا في الاخير بتوفيق من رب العالمين دائما الواحد بيسوي عليه في ارضيه الملعب والاهم من هذا كله ان المنتخب يطلع بالثلاث نقاط. The first question is for the coach. The last, uh, the last time the Saudi team scored is against uh, China. Do you think that the Saudi team is suffering offensively? We, I will only speak about. Uh, I will only speak about uh, the last game. So I think we were uh, strong with a fantastic uh, team spirit in Australia. Of course, uh, we have to improve in the offensive part. But it was a, a very good game with some opportunities. We even scored uh, in the extra time, but unfortunately, uh, the ref uh, disallowed the goal. So I'm confident with this, uh, with this player. I know them. I know what they are able to do. So. Like I always repeat, the most important is to be focused for the for the qualification and to be consistent for all the games. Uh, the question was for uh, Abdullah. You are uh, now. We don't see you as uh, a number nine, uh, an offensive, a pure offensive player. Now you are more participating on the flanks. Uh, what is your comments about uh, do you, are you coping well with this uh, new position بالنسبه لسؤالك اللي هو المركز الجديد ما اتوقع انه جديد يعني على عبد الله وممكن هذا هو المركز اللي عبد الله يحب يكون متواجد فيه مركز خلف المهاجم ولكن يعني كل مدرب له كل مدرب له يعني اسلوبه الخاص وله نظرته وله يعني هدف من المباراه وسواء عبد الله لعب خلف المهاجم لعب على الطرف لعب كمهاجم صريح بيحاول قد ما يقدر انه يساعد المجموعه اللي يلعب معهم ويكون دائما موجود في الموعد وهذا ان شاء الله اللي نوعده للجماهير السعوديه. My question is what aspects of the game do you think Indonesia are dangerous? I thought you were speaking French. So bonsoir. Merci pour les mots en français. So thank you for your kind words in, uh, in French. This uh, Indonesian team uh, are strong, well organized, and uh, they are using some uh, speed for the counter-attack, and uh, also uh, very dangerous on the, the set pieces. So we prepare very well this game. Like uh, Abdullah said, uh, it's a tough game, but we like this kind of game, and uh, we have to be ready tomorrow evening. It's a very interesting game. Bonjour, Monsieur Afrena. Bienvenue au Jirata. My question in English. Uh, yeah, the question is. Um, Indonesia suffers to loss against, uh, uh, sorry, suffer to loss against China and uh, Japan. So, do you think at this moment the race of the top two is only about uh, Saudi, Australia, and uh, Japan? And in the last meeting in Saudi Arabia, we played draw uh, against Saudi. So, may, you were not the the coach at the team, but do you think the result is uh, deserved for both team or? Saudi is supposed to win the game in the last game. Thank you. At so. the moment, uh, the group still open. Indonesia, three points. We have six points. Of course, Japan, like I said before, they are far away at the moment, but it's not finished. Remaining five games. 
And for the, the game in Saudi, uh, I remember very well this game because I watched this game. I think Saudi uh, had uh, 19 chances to score, but they didn't score. They missed one penalty as well. So on these days, they were not efficient. And uh, in football, you, you need to be efficient. Against uh, Japan, you were strong. Japan only scored after uh, 41 minutes. You had uh, two very good chances before this uh, goal of Japan. So we know we have to be careful, to be well organized, and uh, to be patient. Like uh, we always said, we don't underrate any team, and we know tomorrow it won't be uh, easy. The question regarding Mohamed Shangit is he ready for tomorrow? And we saw also Faisal Ghandi leaving the pitch at the end of the game uh, in Australia. Is he? fit for tomorrow's match? So, Mohamed al Chankiti won't be able to play. He didn't restart uh, the training with the team. He's only trained alone. And uh, now, since uh, more than five, six days, he didn't train with the team. So, it's not necessary to take uh, any risk uh, with him. Salman, you know, and uh, and of course Faisal uh, Al Gandhi is uh, is ready to play. It was just uh, at the end of the game he was a bit tired. He ran a lot. He was traveling uh, 48 hours before the game in Australia from Belgium, so it was a long way. And he did very a uh, very good game. So hopefully we are we are confident uh, with him and. Uh, I'm sure uh, tomorrow he will be able to play a good game. And I, I have uh, only one question. You said that Indonesia is a uh, good, good in set case. I just want to know: is there any specific player that you think maybe will be difficult for your team? Thank you. You know, I'm a coach. I'm always talking about the uh, team organization, and I never give uh, any name uh, in the press conference. And uh, we saw different combination on your set pieces, so we have to be ready tomorrow evening.